Good morning and welcome to The Buzz. My name is DJ. And I'm Rihanna and we'll be your host this morning. Please join us for a moment of silence. Please stand for the Pledge to the Flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our student-friendly mission statement. At RHES, we are learners today and leaders tomorrow. Today is Thursday, February the 24th, and we're on a day four rotation. For lunch today, we will be having chicken parm with green beans. We want to wish a horn and happy birthday to Addison Oak and Jaden Owens. Have a great birthday. February is Black History Month, and here is today's Black History feature. As the first African-American billionaire, Oprah Winfrey has been dubbed the queen of all media and named by Forbes magazine as the most powerful celebrity of 2013. Oprah Winfrey is truly a force of nature. Born on January 29, 1954, in rural Mississippi to an unmarried teen mother, Oprah Winfrey grew up in poverty but became a high school honor student who garnered a full scholarship to Tennessee State University. Oprah Winfrey has got to be one of the greatest role models for young women. She's somebody who, against the odds, was able to achieve an incredible amount of success. In 1976, Winfrey hosted a TV chat show in Baltimore, and six years later, she became a rating success in Chicago. By 1986, The Oprah Winfrey Show displaced Donahue as the number one daytime talk show in America and grossed $125 million in its first year. The reason Oprah Winfrey Show became number one is that she was the first host to put her own personal life on the line. She would talk about anything, her weight loss, her problems with addiction, her troubled childhood. Oprah really let us feel like we really knew her. I think every year you're trying to reinvent yourself and you stay in touch with what other people are doing, thinking, feeling. I have always felt that my um, instinct and ability to connect with the audience was what carried us. Besides producing and starring in television shows and films, such as The Color Purple and Lee Daniels' The Butler, Winfrey used the power of her program to launch the careers of best-selling authors and a variety of TV personalities. Being endorsed by Oprah Winfrey is really like winning the golden ticket to success. Experts that she's had on her show on a regular basis, from Dr. Phil to Dr. Oz to Rachel Ray to Susie Orman, all of these guys have scored their own talk shows, when Oprah puts her stamp of approval on you, then the world approves of you. Winfrey launched O Magazine in 2000, co-authored five books, and premiered Oprah Radio on Sirius Satellite in 2009. Two years later, she announced the end of her talk show and launched the Oprah Winfrey Network. There are many words that could describe Oprah Winfrey. You'd have to use all of them because one wouldn't work. She is an entertainer, she's an educator, she's a philanthropist, the list goes on and on. Heralded by Life Magazine as the most influential woman of her generation, Winfrey has ranked among the 50 most generous Americans. In 2013, Winfrey received the Presidential Medal of Freedom and had a net worth in excess of $2.9 billion. It's Thursday, so listen carefully to our Thinking Thursday trivia questions. What scientist was the first non-president to receive a national monument? Put your answers in the box in the front hall. It's Read Across America Week. Can you identify this masked reader? Did you know that there's a whole section in the library for jokes? Here's a couple of examples. 
baseball jokes and riddles. Critters jokes and riddles. Pet jokes that will make you howl. Wacky Saurus dinosaur jokes. I'd like to share a joke with you. Woof woof. Who's there? Canoe. Canoe who? Can you stop pulling my tail? If you know, put your guess and your name on a slip of paper and turn it into Miss Abreu. Happy reading. Now it's time for the joke of the day. Why did a man smear peanut butter on the road? I don't know. Why did the man smear peanut butter on the road? To go with a traffic jam. Thanks, Thanks and have a great day. day.